Hi folks, I'm Joe. I'm Rick. And this is Things You Need to Know When Buying Your First Instrument. Doing the editing and we do that song thing. Number one. I'm going to take this one. You're going to take this one. You're more, you're more diplomatic. Well, and, and don't, <laughs> don't take this the wrong way. Uh, and hopefully after you hear this and then watch the rest of your video, you can come back to this point and feel a lot more confident. But the first one is if you don't want to spend money because you're afraid you won't stick with it, just don't. Don't. There's no point in wasting your time and nope. your money. And uh, I think we also find that people will often spend a lot less on it because they're not willing to stick with it, which is really kind of de just self-defeating in well, a way. Yeah. You're shooting yourself in the foot before you even get there. And if, you're, if you're afraid to spend any certain amount of money on your first instrument, typically you're going to spend too little and buy an instrument that's going to hinder your progress anyway. Or really because it was just that it happened to be the cheapest, not suitable for your needs. Right. Uh, could be completely the wrong instrument, and then you're going to get frustrated with it. Yeah. You're not going to like it, and then you, you will prove yourself right. Yeah. So that's one thing. So, but hey, hopefully after you hear the rest of these uh, these uh, tips for you, you'll be able to come back and be a lot more comfortable with uh And, and with, confident. The with the holidays just passing, a lot of parents buying their kids' first one. If you don't think your kid's going to stick with it, you know your kid way better than anybody else. Mm -hmm. Or you should. Mm -hmm. I hope you know your kid. You mm -hmm. know your kid? Yeah, you ever met pretty, him? Pretty well. You might have met him once. He's only 11 months. He's, like, he's, he's, he's little. He, you don't know if he's going to stick with it. I don't know. <laughs> he listens to... But if you're buying it for your kid, if you, you base it off of what you've seen in the past. If, if he took two karate lessons and quit, he ain't going to stick with it. She ain't going to stick with it. Yep. If you... If you Bought a bike and it sits in the corner and collects dust. They're not. A, they're not a bicyclist. And they might not be ready at that time, but that's a good point. It could just not be the right time in their life because I know I needed the the focus when I first got into guitar. Yep. You kind of have to be at the right age where you have no responsibility or very little and enough attention span. So yep. number two, know your budget. Mm. The great thing about nowadays is there's guitars for every budget. Yes. There literally is. Good guitars. Good guitars and even specialty guitars. Lefties, seven strings. There's budget eight strings out there. Mm -hmm. That's pretty niche. So nonetheless, there's it's a golden age of buying inexpensive gear that doesn't suck. Right. It really is. You know, and this may sound counterintuitive to our first point, but if you have a budget... Uh, and you tell us, we'll definitely be able to get you into something that you're asking for, or be able to tell you that that is not enough to get you a quality instrument, and that uh, you need to get, actually get it into this price range. So either save some money or put something on layaway or something like that. But a budget's gonna allow us to be able to get you a range of instruments uh, uh, in your hands Phrasing. and let you try them and figure out which way you want to go. And what your options are too, because again, there's 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 a budget for everything and you don't have to go crazy to get the great sound. I've worked for years with just inexpensive instruments. Mm -hmm. They worked fine for yeah. me and, and they didn't have any problems, but there's so many good, good guitars, amps, keyboards, drums out there for very little money that you can learn on yeah. or even take all the way to a professional level. So yep. just know your budget and think of it as the entire package because like if you need to buy a $200 guitar and that's what your budget is, you might also need to get the strings, picks, capos, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So 200 will cover the cost of the guitar, but you might need another 25 to $30 worth of things to be able to play some of the music that you're listening to. And when you come to us, don't feel embarrassed. Even if you have the cheapest budget, do not worry. I have been that guy. Yeah. It was, what's the cheapest bass amp you have? That's great. We can yeah. still get you into something. So don't worry about that. We're not here to judge. We're here to get you the best thing for the right price for the right person. We want you playing. All we're here to do. Yep. Number three. Number three. Three. Why do you want to play? I think everybody has an inspiration because I, I don't. It's not like opening your eyes in the morning and just guitar. Yeah, I don't even know what it sounds like, but yeah, I, I just, have to play this. I, it was. It was like trying sushi. <laughs> yeah. Just why not? Uh, All fish. Yeah, yeah, it just makes yeah, sense. Sashimi's good too. Yeah. No, why do you want to play? And, and there's a reason why I think this is important because when you walk into our store, it helps us figure out what to put in your hands. Phrasing. Absolutely, because 
if you're if you're not into death metal, then they're not going to give you a guitar that's good for that. Right. Um, or just you know maybe it can help you buy a different instrument altogether. Maybe the reason you were inspired is because you have friends, family that also play, and you want to join in. Yeah. Well, that's inspiration. Um, obviously, people want to say things like. Well, I want to play guitar. Well, cool. There's more involvement yeah. than just I want to play. Like I want to be a race car driver. Cool. What kind of car do you? Want? What kind of car? <laughs> Stock car. Sure. Is that one? That is one. That is one. That is one. But there are many. There's many other types. Yeah. So, I would uh, know Formula so. One. I don't watch NASCAR. Never watched watch NASCAR. NASCAR. Mm-hmm. But either way, <laughs> the point is, is that you can be inspired by many different things yeah. and. You know, just have an idea. Don't feel ashamed if you, if let's say you're, you're, you're I love Green Day and the Melvins. Great. Yeah. There's people here that love that too. Number four. How will you learn to play? There's a lot of different ways you can learn any instrument, whether it's drums, guitar, keyboard, bass, whatever, harmonica even. There's, there's lessons for everything online. Mm-hmm. But here at Lights Music, we have you covered when it comes to guitar, guitar, drums, mm-hmm. And, even now, string boat instruments. Correct. Like violins and viola. Yep. So, it's much better to learn from somebody that can actually teach you the right and wrong things to do, um, such as technique, uh, you know, uh, ergonomics, and, and, and things like that, yeah. as far as, you don't want to just play badly and then yeah. learn bad habits, because then it's hard to shake those That's one of habits. the best things about one-on-one lessons, is they will correct bad habits that could hinder you uh, from progressing uh, faster, uh, but also, you know, keep you getting to a certain uh, speed or, or technical efficiency that you could if you, you know, knew what you were doing wrong. But you may be watching this video and you go, hey, I don't have a music store near me and I really kind of don't have the time to be able to drive to a lesson because of my work schedule. Well, there's there's lots of uh, resources online too. Mm-hmm. There's um, Justin Guitar, there's Fender yep. Play, there's so many on there. Just do the research. We I've learned from books. Yeah, there's even guys that will, and well, there's just guys and girls that will do online Skype <clears throat> lessons. That's uh, right. So that you can still get that one-on-one communication and feedback. Um, so that that is an option as well. And you don't even have to put on pants if you don't want to. Yep, just have. Well, you don't even have to have. You can whatever. I'm not wearing pants. Yeah. Research the sound. Ah, yes. Yeah. Whenever you, uh, whenever you're interested in a certain sound that maybe say a favorite band or artist mm-hmm. is getting, these were all created on instruments, amps, uh, sound engines, whatever that already exist. So yeah, they're out there, um, and, and most musicians do like to talk about the gear they have. Yeah, so it's it, there now. Yeah, and what the and you might go, hey, look, I listen to these bands. I don't know what they use. I don't know what kind of guitar that is. We, we might. We will. We will. If not, we'll find out what it yeah, is. Yeah, because because we have the internet. We have the internet. <laughs> we can figure it out. <laughs> Google Google is real. Yes. So and there is a lot more resources than what we had growing up, where you can plug in somebody's name and it'll bring up a whole list of fans that have researched and taken pictures of, of their gear on stage when they were at the concerts. I mean, it's just endless amounts of information. Stay out of my business. <laughs> Number six. Get this question a lot. Mm-hmm. What do we start out on? Acoustic, electric, what? So let's to, let's let's. Just to clear the air yeah. here, everybody gets, well, my friend says this is the way to start. My, and my, friend, my father said I should. I need to start on acoustic because it makes your, it's harder to play, which is not. And it toughens your fingers up, which it doesn't. Playing is what makes it easier and toughens your fingers yes. up. So it really doesn't matter. I would always, always advocate Playing what you want. If you want to be in a metal band, if you want to be in a punk band, a rock band, you do not need no. to start out on an acoustic guitar. That is silly. It's just going to frustrate you. It's just going to frustrate you. You're not going to sound like Slayer yep. at all. And on top of that, you're going to have to buy another guitar once you decide to start that metal band of yours. Because you realize you didn't start with the right guitar. Or if you were into bluegrass and flat picking and John Denver, there's absolutely no reason that you need to buy an electric guitar. However, if you can't decide, there's no reason that you can't have both. Uh, I get asked this question, I think I've been asked it three times today. Yeah. What do you play? 
What don't I play? <laughs> yeah, you yeah <laughs> it's like you're saying, exactly right. What what food item are you exclusively eating right now? Just beef. Just beef, because that's the only thing that exists. No, there's you can totally get both. Um, I think most of the reason that people wouldn't at first would be budgetary. Budget, sure. But again, there's really no reason you couldn't get both with no. the, with some of the prices that we have and some of the deals on used or just entry level stuff. There is no reason you couldn't buy an acoustic guitar right. and an electric guitar for well under five hundred dollars. Right, it can be done easily, especially and, if you're not sure. And if you can't decide, that's when you get both. I mean, why not? Yeah, As a great so, used acoustic, a new electric, either amplifier or, that can do acoustic and electric guitar. They they s- exist. Same thing with drums. There or or even you know anything else with drums. People will ask the oh, same thing. Yeah. What's it better to start on, acoustic or electric? Oh, yeah. Well. They're different. They're they different. have different purposes and they have different uses. If you can't decide and you have the budget, get yourself both because yeah. chances are you're going to need both of it for, for one or the other because you it's, it seems to be that most drummers prefer to play live on acoustic kits rather than an electric kit. Sure. But electric kits can also be good for... Number seven! <laughs> living situation. Where do you live? Uh, if you say, I don't know, have an 11 month old? I do. You're not going to be playing your acoustic drums when nope. you go home, are you? Never. Because you might. They would be stacked up in a closet. Collecting dust. Collecting dust. Because when will you ever. Actually, my son would probably play them. He probably would. And, yeah. and then you would still not sleep. So. No. But you, 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 when you live with other people, or say you're tight on space, you're in a dorm, you're in a small apartment with five roommates. You're not a gigging musician. And you're not a gigging musician, uh, a, a large stack amp is probably going to be out of the question. So think you know, think about these kind of things. Also, too, you know, going up and down stairs. Let's see, do you want an upright piano or a digital oh, keyboard if you live on the third floor of an apartment complex? As somebody who's been there, you're going to want something portable. Right. You're going to want something that also will not get you evicted. Yeah. So these are things to consider when buying an instrument because... I will. I, my old saying is, uh, you can get away with being loud if you're good. And even things like acoustic drum sets versus yeah, electric yeah. kits. I've heard of this before, where people's neighbors would beat on their walls because they're playing their electric drum kit in the yeah. middle of the night. Because while they're not hearing the drums. Yeah, and the, the nice thing about that is there are ways to insulate that a little bit, but you, yeah, you still have to be light with your touch. If you're oh, absolutely. Two o'clock at night in an apartment complex. People do not have patience for for beginning musicians all the time. They might have work. They might have this. They might have that. Um, I've, I've had angry mothers bang yeah. on apartment doors when band practice is coming in because their kid just got put down for a nap, and then they heard. Oh. Burt metal. Burt metal. So, yes. Living situation. That's the thing. Last point. Where are you going to buy? Well, Joe, let me tell you something. The best place to try out a guitar is online. Yes. Because shipping it back and forth is fun. So fun. So when you realize that you don't like that pattern of neck. Where are you going to buy your instrument? Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a good question to ask because there's lots of places to get them now. Uh, there I, is. I think I would say <clears throat> Lights Music is probably the best place to get your instrument. Absolutely. Without a doubt. It's fine. It's where I buy all my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Come see us. It's probably the big, biggest advantage to shopping with a local shop like us is you can ask questions. Yeah. You can try it out before you even buy it. Also, too, you can have an expert like ourselves check it out. Have our tech, Eric, who's an awesome tech. Yeah. Check it out. Make sure it's set up and playing as good as it possibly can before it even leaves the store. Exactly. But a thing called the internet has become very prevalent in online musical instrument sales. And uh, it, it, there's some benefits, but there's also quite a few drawbacks. There can be. Um, the biggest one is buying, of course, you always want to buy from a reputable dealer, mm-hmm. which we also do as well. We have lots of our stuff listed online, which you guys can check out on Reverb and eBay. We've got all of our nicest, prettiest stuff up there, so please check it out, of course. Um, but the thing about buying online is there's a lot of what are they call the, what is it called, GSOs, Guitar Shaped Objects. Uh, copies, yeah. knockoffs. Oh yeah. Um, you know things that have been. You, know, you can't always trust what you see, 
And often, as we've heard, if it sounds like too good of a deal to be true... It totally is. It totally is. Because people are scamming all the time. Yep. Um, So beware of where you're going to buy. And not to say you can't buy something great online. You totally can. Yep. Just stick with reputable dealers. Because how many times do we get people coming in here, just bought this off of, insert your favorite website here, and the action's terrible. Yeah. It's not set up. They bring it to us, which we will gladly do because this is how we make our living That's here, right. and this is what we do. But it's it's concerning that it won't just come get it from us first yeah, <laughs> because yeah. we would have made sure it happened. You could save yourself a trip <laughs> back to the store yeah. by already knowing it's playable. It's, playable. it's strung strong. up with new strings or new, drum new heads. heads or it co- comes with... All the stuff that it's supposed to. Yeah, well, that's a big thing, right? Especially if you buy an amplifier online, buy a guitar online, you have it shipped, and then you have it under the tree, and then you mm-hmm. open it, and you realize you need an instrument cable to plug in the guitar into the amplifier. My personal anecdote on that was shopping with a musician's friend, buying my first half stack, asking, does it include a speaker cable to connect the head to the yeah. cabinet? Because I already knew that was a thing. Yeah. Service guy. Absolutely, you know, shit, but didn't come with it. Didn't happen. I ended up going to a shop and buying a speaker cable yeah. after staring at my half stack for three hours going, I wish I could play it. I can't. This is a bummer. Yeah, so where you buy is a big thing. So please stay tuned for part. Bleh. I'm Rick. I'm Joe. Thanks for watching. <laughs>